Hey, good morning, everybody. Thank you for tuning back into the channel. Today, I was gonna go to an estate sales about eight o'clock in the morning, but I just looked it up, and today, instead of starting at eight like it did the last two days, this is actually the last day. It starts at 10, so I'm out. <laughs> And I'm two hours early, so I'm, I'm gonna stop by this Ben store. It opens at eight, today Sunday. Looks like it's a lot of people here. It's eight o'clock on Sunday and people's already picking. So I'm gonna stop at this Ben store called Gimme Five. See what they got in there. I don't know how much video I'm gonna get because it'd be kind of a cluster F in there. Uh, here you go, Gimme Five. I don't know if you can see it. So I might strap it to myself some type of way, but I don't know if I'm gonna get that, you know detailed video so let's go in here and see what they got going on today i got a couple packages i'm sending out just two really uh and i just wanted to show you before i pack them out one is this canning it came out of that ink purchase i made actually the second one and i'm Bruh. as i told you guys i was in the profit on that after i sold the first two things of ink and i probably i don't know 10 cents into that into this purchase uh, i paid 40 dollars, and i had a bunch a truckload a tahoe chevy tahoe full of ink so i sold that for i put it on the screen i think 29.99 34.99 i'm not sure the next thing and i'm weighing it just to kind of i'm trying to get it under 12 ounces are these little musty mus mess makers power putty uh it says out of the bed messy look that's what it's for i guess it's for women who wants to get out of bed and bed and have that little shower shine hair. I don't know. I just knew it was selling and I bought some. And these are what I call my bread and butter because I have a place or spot where I can get these and they have a million of them. And at first I bought like 10, trying to see what they would do. And I'm averaging like one or two a week. And I'm, I purchased them for well, $2 a piece. I'm selling them in lots of two. So I'm about four and some change into both of them. And I'm selling them for $24.99 including shipping on eBay. So I'm doing pretty good on those. So I went back the other day and bought a bunch more. So um, I just sold this one this morning. So I'm gonna get both of these out. I'm gonna try to get this under 12 ounces, but the box in this is 12.2. So I'm gonna cut up the box a little bit. Um, that saved me like a dollar and some change on shipping. So I'm definitely gonna do that. And uh, I gotta go pick up groceries at Kroger. And I'm thinking about stopping in the thrift because it's right next to Kroger's and the kids out of school again. So y'all get to see me and my craziness with my kids because they have a lot of energy. That's all I'm going to say about that. So let's pack this stuff up and let's get going. So I'm picking up the groceries. Have any of y'all ever did the Kroger pickup? It's where you um, order your groceries online. They come pick them up. I've been doing like that the last year. And hey, I hate the grocery store with a passion. It's a lifesaver. So I'm sitting here waiting for them to bring them out. They just load them in the trunk. Boom, I'm done. Don't have to worry about them lines, finding stuff. I have anxiety. When I get one grocery stores, I mean, picking, it's a different story. You know, I'm trying to make some money. I can go in them bins and look through them clothes and everything, but grocery store, can't do it. Bruh. I can't do it. So getting these groceries there's a tj maxx i don't know if you can tell with this live view way across there i think i'm gonna stop in there real quick Where I going? and uh as you can see them bad kids again <laughs> so uh yeah let's get to it we've been kind of ragged because we've been raking leaves all morning ain't we? yeah. we've been raking we've been raking leaves all morning if they have candy canes maybe 
Hey, hey, how you doing? We've been raking leaves all morning, so we kind of raggedy right now. Nah, we don't need a court. Stopping over here at TJ Maxx. Home Goods Store. Hold on, let me show the sign. $12. Do you know him? American Eagle. Huh? Is this a clam zaru? What's it called? Is this the IOU um What's the word? What's is it called? The, is this the IOU you was talking about? Yeah, what's it called? Is this the IOU you was talking about? But what's the alcohol? Clarence Isle? What? Clarence? Clarence, yeah. Is this aisle? Yeah. How's you gotta get them teeth, man, them teeth. You can't say nothing without them teeth. <laughs> Man, you got about, how many guns, Fortnite guns you got at home? Two. How many? Keep going. How many have you not even opened? Two. Yeah, you got two of you haven't even opened yet. You better put that back. You, you still got Christmas I stuff. I don't want this. I'm just showing you. Ah, okay. I'm about to say, because you still got Christmas stuff. Yeah, you need chores? I got a real broom at home. On this one. Okay, when we get home, I'll show you how to, I mean, I'll show you. I'll have you do some chores. Do it with this one. <laughs> Not this room, it's easier. Okay, so, made a Goodwill, another Goodwill. We've never been to. Yeah, this is the one, we've never been in this one. Mm -hmm. uh, this kid just got out of soccer practice, decided to hit up another Goodwill. Put the stuff on. Nice day out there today. Didn't find nothing in TJ Maxx earlier. They had a school today. Look, we didn't have a good day today. We've been kind of busy. So we're going to end it. We're going to this good wheel. Can we, can we, can we, can we get some? Maybe. Depends on how you act. And TJ, so TJ Maxx. So, let's go in here and see what's up. So this place is pretty big, ain't it? I don't know what to start. Let's start here. Hmm? We're not looking for a pack. We're looking for like it's gonna come into, into a pack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just an individual because y'all not gonna eat that. Not, whole, not this. Not gonna eat that whole thing. Not, you probably will, but not the whole thing. That's on Huh? How about this? That's two in it, but I don't know what it is. I don't want it. Well, let's look around. That's a big old bag. What is that? I don't know, some ant killer. What's an ant killer? I don't know. 59 mm -hmm. cents for ice pack. What is this, slime? What is this, like slime? $2.99? Slime? Yeah, $2.99. I found something. Is it candy? Uh, oh, yeah. All right, it's the next morning. Um, we did okay in that Goodwill. That was a new thrift store we had went to. Our Goodwill we went to just built it not too long ago, and it was actually pretty good. Uh, I just got a couple things out of there. One thing I don't even know what it is. Um, but this is the next day, and like I said, kids off to school. I'm off today, so I'ma go to the gym. Uh, probably hit up a couple stores as well. Maybe some retail arbitrage today. I haven't hit up Marshalls and uh, Burlington Co. Factory in a while. So I might do that. And I might hit a thrift store. Who knows? As y'all know, I live in Kentucky, so it's kind of cold. Not like California where there's yard sales and estate sales all the time. So um, I got to wait till that season comes, which was should be around the corner, which is April, uh, February, March, you know, end of March, Aprilish. The yard sale season should be here. So we can see something a little different. But I do want to show you what I got from the thrift yesterday. Um, let's see. All right, so I got a bunch of games, Sega Genesis games, for those of y'all who are my age, which 
you know, 35 and over, 38 and older. Our younger, some younger, who plays Tanker Genesis back in the day. Uh, know what these big old cases are, man. They used to pack them with some nice horde cases. And if you kept them in the cases, your game would never mess up. So I got this, a bunch of golf games, actually. PGA European Tour. And I'm surprised how much these games is going for. I mean, these, I put them on the screen. They're going for, you know, the 15 range. This is the PGA European Tour game. Uh, this is the PGA Tour Golf Sega Genesis game. And all these, let me show you. All these come with, if I can do it with one hand, the book, the, the book, and it's in mint condition. Look at the book. You got the nice booklet that you used to could go through, not like today. And the games, of course, in there. So all these have the game with the book. And the reason why I mentioned with the book, because they actually worth more if you have the book. So anyway, so I got the PGA Tour Golf. PGA Tour Golf 2. I put the comp to that one. I think this one, maybe this one was worth the most. All of them is in the range between $15, $16. Uh, I could price it probably a little higher, but I plan on doing a lot, of, a golf lot. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to list it for yet, but I might just go ahead and do a whole golf lot and see what I can get. But I might look at that a little more. Maybe it might be better to list them individually but I'd rather list them as a lot, one shipping fee, and be done with it. The next thing I got is this book, Steel Factory Seal, with $1.99. Gentleman's Champion, made, uh, wrote by Lou Augment, is that how you say his name? I know he passed away. This book was wrote back in 2001, and there's only one on eBay, but it's signed, and but they want 40 something dollars for it. But I couldn't find the book at all on eBay, so I don't know what I'm gonna list it for. Maybe 20, because uh, it's like I said, factory sealed. And for some reason, I got a bunch of golf stuff. It wasn't on purpose, but this is a golf book, and I got the golf games. But we'll see. I don't know what I'm gonna list that for yet. But I got that, and I got one more thing, and it's made by Captain's Itch. I think it's a bottle. I don't know what it is. I just went out on a limb and bought it because it was it says it's made in the USA. And I know Captain Itch sells high quality items. They sell gun holsters, motorcycle ports, Harley Davidson, you know, things to go on your bike, things to that nature. All leather handmade stuff. So I got to I tried to do a little research on it. I couldn't really find anything. I probably need to go to CaptainIch.com to see if I can find this to see what I can list it as. Because I see stuff going like this for like $100, $120, $150 sometimes. So it was $3.99. Like I said, I took a risk. Need to do more research and figure out exactly what it is. So that's all I got from the Goodwill. Um, I got one package going out today. It's some toner. I think it's HP toner, I forget. I already wrapped it up, so I forget. So I will put what it sold for. It sold for $29.99, priority. Uh, I'm paying shipping. Shipping was about $9 on it, so I'm making about 20 at the end uh, before fees and all that. So yeah. And also, I got to uh, mail out my monthly taxes. Uncle Sam got to get his. And let me show you one more thing. Update on the eBay room. As you can see, look at my basement. Stuff everywhere. Wifey is not liking it right now. My bar is filled with stuff. You know, because I put everything out. My shoes is pulled out the room. Packing supplies. Everything's pulled out right now. As I told y'all, because I'm converting. For those of y'all who watched previous videos, y'all know I make socks. So this is my sock room, t-shirt, ties room. Um, basically what I did is this is my press, of course, and it was sitting on this table. The table was sitting on these two wooden slash metal pieces right here. But I think the table was taking up too much room and I don't need it. So what I did was I got rid of the table. It was sitting over here. Everything was sitting over here and I moved it here. So I have more room and I'm gonna got it under the pops. And what I'm gonna do is these two chefs I'm about to buy today from Lowe's, I'm gonna put here one, two. They're gonna look just like this chef here. And stack my shoes over here. Anyway, this is gonna look totally different next time you watch the video. Cause I'm gonna attack it today. Look, I look all that ink. This is all the stuff I haven't listed yet. And I got more 
in the garage. So I'm gonna attack this room hard today, straighten everything out. And uh, it's gonna be a functional eBay slash I probably do videos and all kinds of things in here. So look out for that. But let me stop babbling. I've been talking too much. Y'all don't wanna see me talk, hear me talk. Let's go and see what we can find today. Oh, I almost forgot one more item. And how could I forget this? For those of y'all who don't, let me get some light on this. I got this from over there too. I paid $4 for it. I probably shouldn't have bought it because it's only going for like 20 plus online. And for those of y'all who don't know what this is, this is a German product. Uh, when I brought this home, my wife looked at it. My wife's German. She's German and Puerto Rican. A German and, uh, yeah, Puerto Rican. <laughs> Why'd I say it twice? Um... This is for, now this, let me show you some of the diagrams. It's for toilet paper. You put the toilet paper on there. You make sure it's locked and ready. You sit down as you use the bathroom. And if you want to wipe, Bruh. you get the idea. It's for, it's for wiping, basically. And uh, I guess, you know, if you ain't able to do it, I guess if you're older and you can't do it, this is what you use. And it's going because they sell it online and I guess people are needing them. So I guess it is a great product. But hey, I don't discriminate. I sell what I sell, right? Hey, and maybe one day I need, I might have to use this. So who knows? I don't know how I forgot this. But let's get going. All right, just got finished working out. Um, check out a thrift store right by the gym. So. Let's go in here and see what they got. Um, I haven't been to this one in about a week. After this, I'm going to try another Goodwill, one that I've never been to in my part of town. It's kind of far out, but not that far from here. But I'm going to check it out. You know, sometimes it's good to get new scenery, different area. You just never know what you'll find. And um, then I got to stop at Home Depot, get me some shelves so we can kind of finish my eBay room. So let's stop in here and see what they got. Okay, so I grabbed a couple of items out of there. Raining outside. Um, okay, items. I'm just now figuring out that my, one of my lights is out. Ah, hope I don't get pulled over. But they're crazy here in Louisville. But I got a couple of items. Uh, I feel good about what I got. We'll look at them when we get home. The Goodwill I was telling you about earlier is right up the street. Let's go up here and see what's up. All right, a lot of people at the Goodwill today. Look at all these cars. It's a regular Tuesday, and the Goodwill is packed. So let's go in here and see what we can see. I'm I'm hand I'm holding it by hand today. Let me get a thumbnail. I'm holding the camera by hand today, so I don't know how much I'm gonna get. So I might record a little bit, but when I get out, I will show you guys. Just depends on how many people's in there. So let's see. Rain it a little bit. Let's get it. Need a pregnancy test. Bruh. I definitely don't want to use my, no more of them. Can't afford it. Can't afford to have one. Any more kids? I'm just joking.
went crazy in there. A little bit lightweight. Not really. I spent $25 there. And I spent, well, $25 is a lot goodwill. And the last thrift store I spent uh, $9. So I spent about $40 today. Let's see if my coffee's still. Coffee's still warm. We've been in there since 9.30 and it's one o'clock. I love that thing. Um, so yeah, I made some purchases. Of course, we gonna, when we get home, we're gonna go over them again. Um, I've been making purchases pretty much every day the last three weeks. I'm trying to get my eBay store up to 300, at least 300 listings. You know, I got like 150 right now, 147, something like that. So I've been purchasing stuff and um, you know, I've been on kind of like a purge, you know, trying to get trying to get these listings together. So that's why I've been making so many videos of me actually going to these thrift stores and things like that. Cause I've been hitting them up pretty much every day and uh, your set season's coming. So that will be nice on the weekend. So I'm gonna slow down here soon. I don't even know where I'm going at. I'm gonna slow down soon and maybe just do what sold videos and things to that nature maybe how to's and things like that okay because uh your boy's been spending a lot of money but i've been actually selling too so it ain't like i'm just sitting on stuff i'm selling it's just sitting in the store a lot of it i need to uh oh my god i'm going the wrong way <laughs> a lot of it i need to list and a lot of it um let me back up I'm in the middle of nowhere, y'all. I came to the farthest good where you can actually come. It's out here in the Mean Dollar Homes neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, let's get home and let's look at some of the stuff, all right? Yeah. So, I'm in Lowe's. Getting this shelf. And I found the shelf that I have at home, but they only got one left. Which is this one up here. They got the $99 one, but it's too high. $79 one's too high as well. Um, I think I'll probably just get one and come back later to get the other one. All I need is one right now anyway, so. But I hate making unnecessary trips. That's money. But I'm going to go ahead and get it. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it now. This one's open. Look, I'm not getting it. Ah. Uh, this is an unnecessary trip. Oh well. We'll try again some other time. After I talked all that mess about wanting to get sturdy shelves, I end up getting some plastic ones. Two of them. One. And here's two. $34 a piece instead of paying $70 a piece. Save me a little money. They still do the same thing, right? Might have to replace them later on down the line, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm trying to get things done. All right, YouTube family. I'm back at the house. This is actually the next day, the morning of the next day. <laughs> I just want to show you a couple of things that I got from the Goodwill. Um, uh, what was I at? The thrift store. See, I don't forgot where I was at. I think I was at the thrift store. I did stop at the Goodwill too. So some of these are from the Goodwill and that thrift store. So let me get into it real quick. Um, got this little alarm clock. All the stuff I picked up on the whim too. I didn't look nothing up. I'm trying to see if I'm getting better on finding things that I think are worth the little value, but I have looked them up since then. And I will post some of the comps on the screen. Like I said, this is a little alarm clock made by Spartus. Um, they don't go nothing for uh, about average. They sell in too. And the last one sold, I think. Well, the last one they sell to about December, I think. But it went for like $16. Pretty good price, I guess, on there. But I paid $3 for it. Um, I got this little camera bag. I guess camera holder. It was Sony, so I picked it up and it was only a dollar. And they don't go nothing for about ten dollars. So, a couple dollar profit on that. Uh, this little Nareco fan. I started to get it for myself because I need a little fan when I'm 
in my room and I'm making socks and I need a little ventilation in there, but Norelco. Uh, it's actually a $25, $26 item plus shipping. I got it for $4. I got it, like I said, because I knew it was made back in the, I guess, 80s, 90s. It looked pretty cool, so I decided to grab that. These, I don't know what they are. I just grabbed them. Um, they sanitation, sanitation. I might use these myself, but I think you stick them down the drain. You drain smelling, and um, so you have a nice lemon leaf flavor. Anyway, they was three dollars. I probably shouldn't have bought them, but I think they go for about I don't know a little bit of nothing online, maybe ten, twelve dollars, I believe. Um, I got this Azobot. Didn't know what it was. I actually did look this up. And they was going for about, I don't know, they was kind of all over the place. You know, between $30 and $40. Pre-owned. This is a pre-owned. I opened it already and somebody had used it previously. So, it was only $1.50. And I might get about $40 of it. So, that was probably the nicest pickup of the day. As far as the biggest profit. And like I said, um, suppose it's a robot and you can draw some lines and it'll follow the lines or something like that. So, I guess that's pretty neat. Actually, my kids might like that. I don't know. I might keep that. And then, uh, last but not least, I got some yarn. Uh, a lot of this yarn was at Hobby Lobby back in 2010, so it's about 10 years old. And um, I looked it up. It wasn't too many of this kind on there. And I'm a bundle. I got five. I think I got five. I, to, I got to just drop one. I got five of these. And uh, they was a dollar a piece. I believe yeah, 99 cents a piece. And uh, I'm gonna bundle them up and maybe throw, I don't know, $25, $30 on them. Because I didn't see a lot on there. The one I did see, it was bundled with another piece of yarn and it, it had a bid on it. And so somebody wants it. So I might bundle these five up, throw 25 on there, and somebody can make a nice old crochet quilt or something like that. I don't know. So yeah. Oh, and I got to, well, this is some of the stuff I think I showed y'all already. So. Yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll go ahead and end this video. Get myself the guys just woke up. Sorry about that. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, for those of y'all, this is your first time watching. I'm a part-time picker. I sell stuff on eBay to make a little profit. Go to thrift stores, estate sales, yard sales, garage sales, things of that nature. Find stuff, you know, that people are throwing out for the most part. And somebody wants it and sells it on eBay. So... Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I think I'm still under 20 subscribers, but like I said, I love doing this. I want to do a giveaway at 50 subscribers, and I want to make some custom stocks for somebody. So we're gonna do a 50 subscriber giveaway. Hopefully, I can get there soon. I'm gonna keep making content because I love doing it. I love doing this, and I love going back watching my old videos, knowing where I got certain things. All right. So with all that being said, y'all be good.